My next guests met studying policing at university in 1999 and both served almost two decades in the New South Wales Police Force. They've both felt the crippling effects of PTSD. It is so much more common than you might think. It's their personal experiences that led them to want to help others and raise awareness. Solana Singleton and Pia Schindler, they both join me now. Ladies, so lovely to have you on and thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Thank I'll start you. with you, Pia. What was the hardest part of being a police officer? I think the hardest part was um, trying to separate work from personal life at a point. You don't want to bring it home. You don't want to expose your family or friends to what you've experienced. But after time, that really takes a toll on your mental health, that lack of empathy, that lack of connection. Uh, so I guess um, the spiralling then out of control um, in terms of your emotions yeah. or not identifying with your emotions can really have an effect. I That's think it, the you make a great point. And, and Alana, I've, I've had experience with, you know, different people in, in different areas of service, the military, the police force, etc. And one thing I notice is that everyday issues that might impact maybe your partner, they're almost incapable of feeling empathy towards mm. it because they see so much worse every day and that puts a strain on any relationship. Yeah. We talk about the fact that we have a disproportionate exposure to trauma and so what a bad day for us is versus our loved yeah. ones really gives us a disconnect between what we're experiencing and then how we engage with the loved ones around us or community around us. It really isolates us from everybody else. We see the numbers of police dropping, police are leaving mm. in massive numbers. Is that because there's not anything effectively addressing the issue of PTSD, trauma, etc.? I don't know if I can comment on that. <laughs> what I can say is that the numbers have increased by 300%. Wow. Um, there is such a high amount of officers with experience leaving the organisations across all emergency services, um, possibly because there's no organisational assistance or training or self-awareness training to what to look out for. Yeah. So you're serving in an environment where your colleagues are experiencing the same thing. So you think it's normal when actually it's not. Another great point, and I keep saying great point because yeah. they are, but mm. they're also fairly obvious, you know. So, so why isn't enough being done and what are you doing to provide a service that others aren't. Yeah, I think for us the realisation that there needs to be independent support services. So when emergency service workers don't feel confident in going to internal services, that they know there's someone external there to be able to provide them that level of assistance that we're providing. We go in and we actually give lived experience education sessions. We've walked in their boots. Yeah. We go in there and we talk to them about our experience with service, with trauma and with recovery. We give them culturally appropriate strategies to be able to empower and manage their own mental health based on the fact that they have this huge overexposure to trauma. I love that. It's such an important place to come from because if someone's standing in front of you who doesn't understand, mm. it's very hard to listen and take on board. But two women with 40 years service between you, I mean, that's a phenomenal amount of experience. Give the charity, the organisation, a plug and how can people learn more about it and get involved if they want to? Thank you. You can find more information on emergency.org.au. Uh, we rely very heavily on donations. Any government funding or anything? Um, we're finding it very difficult for government funding. Um, well, hopefully we this will help. love because, to see, yeah. Because yeah, um, we, we know that we are personally affecting people's lives well, and changing lives for the better. Every career you prolong by providing this service mm. yeah. Yes. benefits us all, government included. So yes, this is something they should be investing in. I agree. Yeah. Well, um, we, we make a lot of things happen on this show. <laughs> we sold a property last week. That's Someone right. watched in Alaska and paid a record price. Well, so wow. we'll try and get well. this done as well. well um, millions of dollars of funding oh, coming our way. <laughs> look, it's a tough market at the moment, but we can definitely push for that. Ladies, yeah, thank you so thank much you. for all you're thank doing. You for and thank us. you for your service to this country as well, whilst thank you were you. serving and thank host you. as well. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks, Erin.